The following occupational qualification is developed by the QCTO in partnership with industry for industry and is offered by accredited skills development providers. Each occupational qualification has three components, theory, practical and work-based experience. This is to ensure that learners are ready and prepared to enter the workplace. This video looks at the occupational qualification of an organization risk practitioner. Risk management is a field in financial services that continuously assesses and identifies business risks and assists companies to effectively achieve their set objectives. Risk management is crucial to every organization as every decision that is made involves some form of risk or uncertainty. Measures are then taken to avert, control or reduce these risks. Examples of uncertainty-based risks include damage by fire, flood or other natural disasters, unexpected financial loss due to an economic downturn, loss of important suppliers or customers, and a decrease in market share due to new competitive products. Some of the benefits of risk management include creating a safe and secure work environment, increasing the stability of business operations, and providing protection from events that are detrimental to the company and the environment. There is a growing demand for analytical professionals, thus making this career vital to companies wanting to protect their financial and general business operations. I studied chemical engineering at undergraduate level on a mining bursary and I spent the first five years of my working life on a mine. I wanted to come back into the city at the time and so I made a career change and from there moved into risk management. I've now been working in risk management full time since 2010. So a part of my day is spent doing actual risk management advice to clients, but a big part of my day is also into the management of the team. So my day consists of writing emails, having meetings, doing budgets, checking revenue, and all those kinds of things that go together with the management of the team. It's important to remember that risk managers don't actually manage the risk for the companies they work for. In that way, the name is actually misleading. Risk managers typically own the methodology that a company uses to manage risk. The responsibility for managing the risks in an area will always remain with the manager of that area. Part of the risk manager's job is also to put in place systems and procedures and things to lessen the impact of a bad thing happening once it has occurred. So that is a risk manager's job in the, in the simplest of language, to try and prevent bad things from happening to the company they work for. In more layman's terms, risk is the chance of something bad happening. Let's take a car accident for example. You're exposed to the risk of a car accident, but there's certain controls that lessen the chances of something bad happening. There's the rules of the road. There is your safety belt. There's the airbags in the car. So while you're exposed to um, a danger, the job of the risk manager is to put in place, on the one hand, controls that will prevent the risk from occurring, and on the other hand, controls that will lessen the impact of a risk should it unfortunately occur. To become a risk manager, I would say you need a specific skill set and a more general skill set. The specific skill set I'm referring to is the underlying theory of risk management, which is becoming more and more well developed and at the moment is being offered at various educational institutions like university as an actual academic discipline that you can study. Once you're in the job though, you need a much more general skill set. If you're going to help the business that you work for to manage risk, you need a, gen a good general understanding of that business. So you find that risk managers for engineering firms have engineering backgrounds. Risk managers in banks have accounting and finance backgrounds. 
and so forth and so on. You need a good general understanding of the business that you're in. You also need a couple of what we would refer to as soft skills. The risk manager, as I've already explained, doesn't really manage the risk himself, but he helps the business to manage that risk. That means to a certain extent, risk managers are, have to sell the benefits of risk management to the managers that are actually going to own and manage those risks. They need to therefore be persuasive, very good communicators, and they need to be able to um, sell the benefits of what they're doing to, to those managers. So a skill that I found is invaluable for a risk manager is the ability to integrate and to make sense of massive amounts of data and find in that data the, the gem or the nugget or the, the, the hidden cause that will make a difference in the lives of the managers they, they are working with. What risk management has done is enabled managers to make sure that they cover all aspects of risk, that nothing falls between the cracks, and it has improved their strategic planning ability by looking at some of the dangers that can be identified and that might come down the road that we want to avoid as a business. Risk management has to talk to everybody and they, they actually interact with almost every discipline in the business. The techniques that a risk manager applies, applies to every single function area of the business. One of the most satisfying aspects of the job is to see in real time the value that it adds. It's also very exciting to, to work in a discipline that has immediate real-world effects. Um, we've um, seen how some of our customers have avoided corporate failures that have affected some of their competitors. So that is a very, very exciting um, thing about this field is that on a day-to-day -day basis you can, you can go home and you can count the value that you've added during that, that day's work. So a challenging aspect of the job is that if I do my job well, years will go by with nothing ever happening. So it's sometimes difficult to convince managers of the value of what we add because they will say, nothing's going wrong. Why do we need a formal risk management process? Well, it's the challenge to convince you that it's because of decent risk management that's applied that nothing is, is actually going wrong. So starting at the bottom of the, of the career in any given company, you could actually map out your career right the way into your, um, at the top of the career when you get you know, appointed to the C-suite of the, of the company. And there's not a lot of professions that offer that clear career path right from university through to the C-suite of the company. I, um, found my calling the minute I got into to risk management. I found the niche in which I could add value to the company that I was, I was working for. So it's allowed me um, access to the very highest levels of decision making at a relatively, at a relatively young age and that's been, that's been very rewarding indeed. I was privileged enough to be one of the first six South African risk managers to achieve the CRM prof designation that was offered by UMSA as it set about to professionalize the industry. And it's been a real privilege um, and very exciting for me to work at the forefront of my field and to see how it grew in maturity in, uh, in South Africa during my time in the field. For more information about this qualification, log on to www.qcto.org.za. Inquire at info at qcto.org.za. Call us on 012-003-1800 or view our Facebook QCTO page. This video is brought to you by the QCTO's Marketing 
and Communication Unit.